welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And in today's video, we have something totally different. We are going to take a close look at the Retro Game 300. And this video is more like a tiny Wicked tutorial. Try to help you out with the problem I had with this device. In this video, we are going to set up how can we add a folder, how can we add an emulator, and how can we configure so it sees your games. All right, stay tuned and let's go. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is create a folder or a section. Press the select button on the Retro Game 300. That opens this menu. Here we can choose for adding a link and section, rename section and delete section. We are going to add a section or in other case a folder, how I like to pronounce it. Press the A button to confirm. We're going to call this folder number one. Of course, you need to choose the name you really want to have for yourself. When done, press the start button again, and this gives you this section. So we have in this folder, you can separate everything if you like, for example, make a favorite folder or a folder for only Nintendo emulators or just homebrew games, whatever you want. All right, so when we're in the folder that we just made, as you can see, it's empty. Now we're going to press the select button. This opens up this menu. Here we can add the link because we want to add an emulator or a program or a game. Press the A button on your device. This opens the folders. And now we can choose, for example, apps, emus, games. Depends a little bit where you put your files. In my case, I just want to add an emulator. What I'm going to do is press the A button on the folder emus. Right, in the next step, I'm going to add the emulator for the Sega Mega Drive. Choosing this folder, pressing A to confirm, going all the way down and adding this file, pressing A and pressing start. And now you can see we have made a shortcut and we have added the emulator for the Mega Drive. All right, we are in the folder that you just made and we have added the Pico Drive. But when you're starting it up, you're going to get this. So in other words, you can just mess around with the settings, but there is no way of starting games. And how to solve this is pretty simple, if you know, of course. We're going to press select here we can see the option Edit Pico Drive. Press A again for entering the menu. Going here to the selector path. What you're going to do is choose the folder where you put your ROM files. In my case, it's ROMs. And here we can add the folder, press A again. And when you're setting in the right folder, pressing Start to confirm. Go out, press B. Press A again for saving. And now it's done. If you want to play your games, simply press A and it brings you to the folders. That's it. You can very easily boot up your game and play. In this step, we are going to add a homebrew game. We're going to press select on the RG300 again. We're choosing add link. In this case, we are going to choose a game. On my folder games, here we can find all the games. For example, I want to add Quake. Open the Quake folder. Choosing this file. As you can see, it can see everything. You don't need to add any extra path. Press the start for confirming. And what you can see when powering on the game, pressing A, it adds the game. And this is how you're going to add a homebrew game to your system. All right, people. So to conclude this little wicked tutorial regarding how to make a folder, how to add an emulator and configure it so you can play your games and how to add your homebrew game. I hope this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it helped. If you have any questions, can also leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell for more awesome wicked content. And we're into gaming. Don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel for more awesome retro gaming.